Meow. Boy, what is this? This is a lorry. Okay. Hi, lorry. Things are starting to look up, you know? Like Shane's dick? How about that, lorry? Let's talk about that, lorry. Meow. How's it going, everyone? My name is Swingpoint, and welcome to The Escapist, The Walking Dead. I'm super excited to play this. I heard about this a long time ago, and I've been so pumped to play it ever since. A lot of you guys are like, oh, you gotta play The Escapist, Swingpoint. You gotta play The Escapist. And I was like, yeah, I'll do that. And I never did that. So now we're gonna play The Escapist, The Walking Dead. Mainly because I'm a huge Walking Dead nerd. I've read the comics, I've seen the show, I've played the games. And we're just gonna get into this one and see what happens. So there's a couple of locations here. I'm the hospital, there's the... there's Herschel's farm. There's the correctional facility, which I believe is the prison. And then there's Woodbury with the governor, and then Alexandria, which is post-governor. We're gonna talk about the game, and the books, and... Facing a trigger happy adversary from out of town, police deputy Rick Grimes and his partner Shane find themselves in a treacherous situation with the police backup nowhere to be seen. This is not good. Cover me! Boom! This is like the first episode of the game. First episode of the show. First part of the comics. The game is in its own little universe, but the comics and the show are similar. There's definitely different- big differences. There's definitely differences. But, they follow Rick. They both follow Rick. So like I said, we're gonna talk openly about the show and the comics, so if you're super nervous about spoilers, I would shy away, or be very cautious, I guess. I don't know. But we're gonna go through this first level here because I, I already went through the tutorial. This is what the tutorial is. Just to like, try it out, make sure I don't sit here and bumble around while you guys are watching. And it's pretty cool to see like, what they did with the very first level. They definitely- skip out on a bunch of tiny details, but they also, like, they also give homage to, like, the really, really iconic things, where Rick's just like, hello, walking around, like, super clueless. So we gotta go around and find a couple of different things to make it so we can start crafting. I know that crafting was a big part of the Escapist, and please, please keep in mind that I never actually played the Escapist. I never really watched that many people play it too much, because I was like, oh, I might play that someday, so I didn't want to, like, Spoil it for myself. Did everyone just take a break at the same time? Are you stupid, Rick? And I'm pretty sure what you can do is find the comics in here, right? Hey, days gone by. So yeah, you can find like volume one, volume two, volume three in each level. I'm pretty sure there's comics in each level that you can find. I don't know if you can like go and read them in the menu or something like that, but it's pretty cool that they, you can find them. It's also kind of weird that Rick's like, hey, I'm super glad I got this comic about myself. So this is where the crafting comes into play. So I hit up. And then I'm using a controller, so I can go down here, press A to bring my pillowcase, and then there for my bar of soap, craft, and now I have like a woof 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 poof thing. I don't know what those are actually called. They call my woof woof poof. So now I got my woof woof poof. And what's inside of here? <laughs> what I don't get is I don't think the I don't think the hospital had power. So I don't know how the elevator worked. Do elevators need power, or are they like phones and they can get away with it for a while? Okay, so let's- uh, I'm talking old phones. Okay, I might have just dated myself a little bit. Do you guys- have you guys even seen a cord phone? How old are you? I know some of you are like, oh my god, Swing Point, shut up, I'm like 40. But then some of you guys might be like 14 and like never really- Never really grew up with a cordless phone, I don't know. Get out of here! Bah! Oh shit, no, no! Oh, there it is. Whop on him. Whop. Whoa, I picked him up. Hi there, what can I do with you? I'll, I'll put you down right there. You're no, he's just too tired. Let's just go. Stop picking him up, Rick. I lift things up and put them down. Excuse me. I lift things up and put them down. Yeah. And now you can search the walkers for useful items, which I'm pretty sure we end up using this to make like a players or something. So let's go take a look here. Actually, no, we got to pick up the desk, put it over here, and now I can stand on the desk, right? And I need to go ahead and make something. So I go in my crafting menu again by pressing up on the D-pad. Press this, press this, press this, and now I got like a cutters. But I just wanted to show you guys this first level to see me like, this is where it all starts. Rick wakes up in a hospital after he gets shot when he's with his partner Shane, and then he's like, well, where did everybody go? And you find out in the show, and you, I think in the comics, what actually happened to Rick and why he's here all by himself. But we'll get into that a little bit later, I'm guessing. I like, when we, when we finish the tutorial, it doesn't give you as many details as I was expecting. Like, we don't see Rick meeting some of the characters that he met before he reunites with his family and all those folks like that. What happened here? So, like, this is a really iconic scene. Oh my god, why did you open that, Rick? Oh no, god! <laughs> Zombies, don't touch me, no! Oh god, whoa, 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 how do I get out of this? No, 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 god damn it! Okay, first time I tried this, they all followed me in a nice, neat little line. They didn't swarm me! Okay. 
Can't you understand? No, there's Abby's, Rick. Do you not get it? No, Rick doesn't get it yet. It takes him a while to get it. He has to get, like, beat over the head. Literally, before he gets it. <laughs> cool. And we get our first gun right here. So what we don't see in this, at least at the beginning from what I saw, we go outside, is that we don't meet Morgan. And Morgan's a pretty goddamn big deal in both the comics and in the show. He's a different kind of deal in each one of them, but he's still, like I said, a pretty gosh darn big deal. Get out of here, Stambi. Take my shovel and you can like dig around. I'm pretty sure digging was like a pretty big deal in The Escapist, but I'm not sure. Like I said, I didn't play The Escapists, so if I say something or if I don't realize something where you're like, Oh my god, Thwing, how'd you not know that? It's because I didn't play the first game. I just really wanted to play this Walking Dead crap. Okay, come here, because I'm a Walking Dead nerd. Like I said, I played the comics. No, I didn't play the comics. I played the Telltale Game stuff. I have read the comics pretty much all the way through, and I have seen all of the show. So I know the differences between each universe, which is pretty cool. After his first encounter with the undead, Rick, confused and scared, trudges on. And there he goes, leaving the hospital. Here we are. See now that- Rick! Oh my god! Dad! Carl! I was so worried about you. See now, look, we just missed a huge chunk of story there. Because we didn't meet a bunch of different people. After meeting a stranger called Glenn, who invites Rick to his camp, Rick is astonished when, against all odds, he is reunited with his wife, Lori, son, Carl, and then, then yeah, da, 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 da. After his pleading and claims of being shot real good, Rick makes the decision of allowing his son, Carl, to join him and Tyrese on a hunting trip into the woods. Oh, I think there's something ahead of us. Oh, God! Please don't shoot me. It was an accident, I swear. And that's Otis, right? Oh, this is stupid. The farm I live on. That guy owns the place and there's his son shot the foot. I got the bullet. I'll patch him up real good. He works on animals around the farm. I'm pretty sure Otis is like a racist asshole, if I remember correctly from the comics. He's not like some big fat guy that Shane chops up. During the hunting trip, Carl's mistakenly shot by local farmhand Otis. Recording his actions, wanting to make amends, Otis reveals nearby da da da. Local veterinarian named Herschel, who might be able to help Carl. Okay. So when you saw Tyrese, Tyrese is actually a much, much bigger character in the comics than he is in the show. And he has a much bigger role much earlier on in the comics. So this must be following the comics if we're already with Tyrese. Because I don't think we meet Tyrese that quickly in the show if I remember correctly. Rick, what are you doing? So what was... Okay, so now this seems much more traditional and where we like stay in the Herschel Greens farm area for a long time. It's not just like a really quick level like the first part was. Okay. Rick, I hope you at least managed to get some rest despite your current situation, but I want you to know that Carl's in good hands and doing all I can. So, oh, okay, so he's already been shot. Otis has assured me it was a genuine accident and I believe him and you can too. When you awake, you should attend the head count and keep your survivor group morale. I'll catch up with you later. Herschel Green. Okay. Okay, so this is where the game's like gonna be super different for me. It looks like I have health and I can recover energy and there's a timer. So, what you guys are gonna- what I'm gonna need from you guys is, like, help me out with this, because I'm totally gonna be, like, not knowing what to do, and you guys are gonna be like, Ah, oh, swing point, you're so stupid, why didn't you craft this, or something like that. So, I'm really gonna need your help in figuring out what exactly I gotta do to make sure I can make it through this video game. Because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be zombies, and we're gonna have to do something about it. But what does this mean? It wants me to go over there? There's, like, an arrow pointing over there. How do I do this? THREAT! The level of threat from walkers is displayed in the top right. The threat goes up each time you miss a daily routine or when Rick is knocked unconscious and unable to fulfill his role. Higher threat means higher chance of a walker breaking into your group's compound. Divide your time between daily routines and working towards your objective to keep the threat low. So I'm guessing that this is the type of game where I don't show you every single thing I'm doing all the time because I would get super boring, but I also think that people are going to die if I don't do what I'm supposed to do. Did I close the door? Okay, walker threat is going up because I missed the jail. How do I get down there? Gee oh, there's a door. Okay, hi door. You can't fix stupid. So the walker threat went up because I'm a big silly nunny. And now I'm going to go down here to eat breakfast, baby. Nom, 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 nom. Oh my god, put the door on the other side of the house, why don't you? Okay, so I wonder how much time I have to do each thing. Daily routines, attending a headcount, attending mealtimes, completing jobs. As leader... It's my job to make sure the walker threat stays down. Remember to keep on top of these routines. Okay. I can do that. Let me eat some yummy nums. Sit down, baby. I'm sure those things are getting smarter. I can feel it. Tyrese! I do not expect you to do any what? I'm fine, Rick, really. Oh my god, you all talk so much so fast. There are times during the day when you don't have any daily routines to do. This is the morning, afternoon, and evening. It's a good time to familiar yourself with your surroundings. 
Oh my god, I'm working on it! Jesus! Okay, so, time to familiarize with surroundings. This looks like a carrot. Meow. Boy, what is this? This is a lorry. Okay. Hi, lorry. Things are starting to look up, you know? Like Shane's dick? How about that, lorry? Let's talk about that, lorry! If you don't know about that, spoiler alert. Okay, I had a long enough time for the spoiler alert. Lori's a whore. Um, let's see here. Hi, Maggie. Come here. Come here, Maggie. Let's talk to you. Things are so- oh, God, you're all so boring. Who's this? Hi, Glenn. Why do you all say the same thing? Jesus. People are getting eaten alive out there. How are things looking up? So yeah, let's just keep looking around here. I'm really excited to see what the- what the universe is all having to offer you. Like I said, I think it's the- I'm pretty sure it's the comics universe here right now. I mean, we keep finding comics. Tyrese is here. I really don't think Tyrese is on the farm in the show. Really don't think it is. Always ensure to meet the quota set for you when you have job tasks to do. Failure to meet the quota will result in the rise of a threat level. I really, I kind of want the threat level to go really high. I just want to see what happens when things go to hell. But let's do our first job here so we play the game like we're supposed to. I feel like this would be a really fun game to live stream. So, do the laundry? What? Do the laundry? I didn't play this game so I could do the laundry. So, here's my dirty clothes. Thanks. I'm gonna put them in here. There you go. Yeah, I got some more dirty laundry. Dirty female laundry and dirty... Okay, can I move this out of the way? This is ruining my efficiency as a washer cleaner person. Are you done? Clean female clothes. Put those in there. Dude, I am doing great right now. Look at my job quota. Just go through the roof. I would be much faster if this shit wasn't in my way. Come on, don't you have strong muscle arm things? You move this thing. Come on, Rick. Use your cowboy hat and do something. Rick's useless. Rick's crazy, actually, What is what you need to know. You think he's crazy in the show? Oh, ho, 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 ho. he is absolutely bonkers in the comics. Like, I would not want to mess with that guy. He is absolutely batshit nuts. Like, so, they do pull some of the things from the comics and put them in the show of Rick's craziness. But seriously, you ain't got no idea how nuts this guy is. Oh, my God. He is absolutely terrifying. So now I got to go over here. Did I not get my washing done in time? Fine, let's go eat some food. A lot of eating in this game. Oh, Dale! I remember Dale. I'd kill for some pickles. Dale, I miss you, Dale. I don't know what I see anymore, Rick. You see dicks. You see big old Shane dick. That's what you see, you slut. <laughs> so mean to Lori. Lori's like so useless. It's not bad, really. Now, I don't think Lori was as useless in the comics as she was in the show. Guide Rick to Carl's bedside. Oh, let's see how Carl's doing. Little boy got shot. Is there anything I can do to help, Herschel? Your boy needs operating out now. I'm gonna need you to get some items. Nobody deserves this. I hate getting items. <laughs> get the forceps. Where do we gotta get a forceps? And I can't remember if we had to go collect items for Carl's surgery in the comics. That might have just been a show thing. I'm not sure. It's all been a really long time since I read and watched all these things, but I do kind of remember some of them. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of differences between the comics and the show, but they do follow the same universe. It's not like the Telltale game stuff where it's like a completely different thing, but like Herschel's a really different character. Dale's a little different. Andrea's a way different character. Way different character. Um, Where is this thing I need right here? You can use your assigned desk to store items. Why not check the other survivor's desk, too? You might find, some, find something useful. So I'm pretty sure these are like the cells in the escapists. Each person's room. That's my guess. And now I have a medical supply kit. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Herschel, come here, baby. Oh, and he's got it. Oh, yeah. See, look, you can even tell Herschel looks different in this one. Find Herschel. So now I need to give Herschel my stuff. So this is still kind of a tutorial. There you go, Herschel. Recruiting survivors. Ooh, I want more of those. A smiley icon is shown above survivors with high morale when you stand near them. These survivors can be recruited if you press A. Recruit them to do what, though? Okay. Well, let's go follow Herschel. Go to the bed. So I need to get him to follow me? Oh, okay, here we go. So now we can go hang on, hang on out with Carl, fix him up, and then maybe we'll have Carl as a survivor to use. I'm not sure. Huh. You can tell that this is definitely the comics. Because Herschel even, like, has the comic look where he has, like, the really big goatee. He has the ponytail right away, and he's he looks... I mean, I guess you can't really tell if he looks thin, but I feel like this is most definitely the comics. Tyrese has the biggest giveaway. I think I have a hold of it. We haven't seen Shane yet, have we? Hold him down. I pulled the bullet out and stopped the bleeding. Good job, Herschel. 
The barn? Trust me, you don't want to go in there. Oh, yeah, the barn. Super creepy. Dismiss Herschel. Get out of here, boy. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And now I can go walk over here and go in the barn anyway. So let's go see what's going on to the barn, because Herschel told us not to look in the barn. He's probably going to hate us. Oh, God. Awkward. The barn is where we keep all of our dead ones. Dead ones? What do you mean, dead ones? The dead ones. The ones that are causing all this trouble. And if I do recall, he's much more open about it in the comics. He's just like, yeah, we keep them here. It's not like some big, sur it's not some big secret where we find a kid crawling out of there like we did in the show. Final objective. Explore the level in order to arm up your survivors and clear the barn of all the walkers. We can do that. We can do that real quick. I know I'm doing like a lot of reading of all the different things that you can do in this game, but I feel like that's kind of part of what you do with the first episode is like show it to you guys so you guys understand all the things that I can be doing or could be doing. That way you get a better idea of how I can be better. If that makes sense. At least that's how I look at it. Let's see what Lori's got in her desk, huh? Wheat, buckets, chocolates. She would have chocolates. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, so it's time for the evening head count, which means you pretty much just have to walk over here. This is one of our quests we have to do. And I'm pretty sure we have given everybody that we need a weapon. So now we're going to be able to try to charge into the barn. I'm not sure. We're going to give it a shot, though. You have too many followers already, Rick. I should stay. Okay. Well, if that's the case, we're just going to barge up on in this bitch. I got a hoe. And I don't, I'm not talking about Lori. And I also have some bullets. So we're just going to try to barge to the barn and see what we can do. Open it up. Hello? Okay, this ain't working. This ain't working. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Oh my god. Where are my guns? Da, 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 da. Oh my god. Is everyone dying? Wait, you killed them all? Oh my god. You can loot other characters. Oh my god. I thought everybody died. <laughs> oh, and entrails. Ew. Ew. A saddle? Cool. Okay. No. 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 Oh, I'm all out of the ammo. Okay. I have weapons, 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 weapons. Poof. Poof. Whoop on him. There you go. Whoop on him. Oh, no. Come on. Whoop on him. Whoop on him. Whoop on him. There you go. You doing good, girl. You doing good. Okay, what else do we have to clear out here? There's definitely a couple more, and I am low on health. How's everybody else doing? Okay. You guys go whoop their ass then. I'm done with this shit. No, not Rick. Rick's the important one. Holy shit, there's a lot of zombies in here. Okay, more. Whoop on them more. Good job. Dudes. 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 Thank you. Just gotta have everybody else do all the work for me. This is great. <laughs> Did we do it, guys? Did we do everything we gotta do? I mean, what else do we gotta do? Uh, ooh, give me those comics. Give me a key, I guess. Nice. Uh, anything else that we gotta, like, kill? We're savages! I think we did it, guys. I think we win the video game. We gotta go get our RV. We win? Things turn out ugly for the group when Rick was left with no choice what seemed to, to do what's right. Some of the survivors leave the green family farm. We know that. They all come back together anyway. Come on. Here we go again. Sure! Cool! Cuz... Yeah, actually. Yeah, that's exactly how that goes. Because in the show... The place goes up in flames or something like that, so it seems super dramatic. But in the comics, I'm pretty sure they just straight up leave and were like, I can't deal with this anymore. I don't want to stay at the barn. And then people are like, no, the barn's a great place. I'm pretty sure that was a thing. So yeah, pretty cool. So now we go to the prison, Woodbury, and Alexandria. Cool! So I don't think this is going to be too long, because it doesn't seem like these levels really last that long. It's really, it's kind of like the original escapes where you just have to find a way out of prison, I think. I think, like I said, I've never played it, but I'm pretty sure that's how it's going. So, so please go ahead and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed this, and if you want to see the next Walking Dead Escapist when it comes out, or if you, even if you're just kind of interested in seeing what it might be like, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. You'll be able to see the video when I release it. And aside from all that, I hope you guys are having an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next video that we do around here. Meow, meow. Everybody, my name is Swingpoint, and welcome to Cutie Pie Legend of the Brofist. I'm actually really excited to play this game. I think this is going to be amazing. There's going to be a bunch of super popular YouTube personalities in this game that you guys are all going to recognize and love. So I'm super excited.